1,200 players from around the globe are in Dublin this week for the World GAA Games. 56 teams from 20 countries are taking part. China and South Africa are fielding entirely non-Irish teams. Sami Jamal is from Sudan. He moved to Oman three years ago and began playing Gaelic football. We came together two years ago. We all, all of us used to play soccer and we played Gaelic and ever since we stopped playing soccer and we enjoyed this game because it's more physical and you need to be mentally prepared and physically prepared and everything. And He's one of over 1,000 players in Dublin this week to compete at the GEA World Games. I went uh, to Oman from Cyprus one year ago. I joined the, joined the lads and proud to be uh, part of the team. My family's from Antrim and Derry, so um, it's very exciting to you know play in Ireland and, and play the, the GA sport. I just love it. I think it's, 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 uh, it's a good laugh. It's, it's a great game to play. It's physical. It keeps you fit, keeps you out of trouble. And, uh, yeah, so it's really good. Wherever the Irish have gone, always, historically, they've brought their games with them. The big difference now is the younger Irish that are moving abroad now, they're sharing their games. Competition on the field is fierce and the standards have been high. It's something unreal to be here involved in the World Games and see so many different cultures playing our games, such a passion for our game. France, for instance, you know, they would win a junior championship, I say, in most counties in Ireland. Win, lose or draw, the teams taking part have been enjoying their time here. This is my first time in Ireland, so it'd been, it's been great exploring all the skills and stuff. Tomorrow the finals take place in Crow Park and no doubt more celebrations to come. Sinead Hussey, 14 News at UCD.